All right, we got our next act up. Yeah, next uh, our next guest. His name is uh, Gaetano. He's an actor, and uh, he's uh, starring in this new film that's going to be coming out soon called Doughboys. And he's right here. This is Gaetano. What's up, bro? How you been? Yeah. Nice. Amy Love. Yeah. How often do you get introduced by a girl named Amy Love? Yeah, exactly. Right? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so what's going on, John? Yes. How are you? Guy's been was on that show about six months ago, but he's a busy man and uh, he's always bringing something to the table. He's got his new movie coming out. By the time the show airs, it'll be coming out that week. It's called Doughboys, and um, he's here to tell us all about it. Thank you. Um, you know, first off, I'm, I'm surprised I'm here so soon because the last time I was here, we were talking about Doughboys, <laughs> and it was doing festivals and everything. All of a sudden, it's coming out on DVD November 18th. It's great. So. Uh, I'm very excited about it because it's a big picture. There's a lot of big stars in it, and it's a great story. Yeah. All right, bottom line is, you know, this is a story that anyone can watch. Doesn't matter the age. I mean, as long as they can sit to watch a movie, they'll enjoy this movie. There's even some stuff that'll catch the kids' attention, the little ones, you know. There's a chicken running around, you know. <laughs> but, uh... I, I particularly feel that it's important for all the kids in high school and young adults to watch this because it's it's a, a movie about life's experiences and it shows the stories about these two brothers that have a bakery that was handed down to them mm -hmm. by their parents. One of the brothers has a little trouble, you know, and uh, it shows the effect that this brother's gambling problem has. It shows the effect that it has on the, on the family, on the business. And what's good about it, if young people watch a film like this, they'll learn something without having to experience it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a great movie. There's no cursing. There's no nudity. There's no use of drugs. The acting is very strong, so just the intent of it is enough. And there's a, you know there, there ain't a lot of movies out that are like that, that you said. No, there really isn't. There, there aren't a lot of movies out there like this. I mean... Big movie studios, they put out millions of dollars to make movies, and they still can't get the point across like we get it across, uh -huh. you know? So, um, you know, I had a great time acting on this film. But you got a bunch of uh, well-known actors on there. You well, know, why don't you tell everybody about that? Sure, I will. You know, Louis Lombardi, who you might recognize from 24, he played Edgar on 24. He also played uh, on The Sopranos as an FBI guy. Um, he wrote this script a long time ago, years ago. How many years exactly? I don't mm -hmm. know. And it's been, it's been in the burner there. He was waiting for the right opportunity to get it out. Yeah. And finally had the opportunity and he shot this film. Luckily enough, I happened to be around the people that he was working with at the same time this was happening. Mm -hmm. And I managed auditioning, uh, I didn't think anything of it. I was excited. And, you know, going from independent movies, not working with anybody big, and all of a sudden this guy from television is calling me. Uh -huh. I'm like, wow, you know, this guy from TV is calling me. Hmm. So here we go now. Yeah. We spoke on the phone for a while. I somehow managed to convince him to give me the role. You know, how I did it, I don't know. But thank heavens for that. And, uh... You know, we made the movie, and there's, uh, he wrote, directed, and co-starred in the film with me. Uh -huh. So, you know, the film is about myself and him. And Vincent Pastor, who a lot of people know from The Sopranos. Yeah, big pussy. He plays our dad. Um, Andrew yeah. Keegan is in the film from 10 Things I Hate About You. Mike Starr, uh -huh. Jimmy Matteo is in the film. There's a lot of recognizable people in this movie. The acting is very strong. The story is even stronger. I mean, how was it working with uh, Vinny? I mean, was it like a little... Vinny's a joker, you know? He's a nice guy. I didn't, we, I really didn't have any scenes with him. It actually, you see, Vin, Vin uh, Mr. Pastor mm -hmm. played our, our dad, but in flashback scenes. So he's working with these two kids. And anybody that watches this movie is gonna see Mr. Pastor in a new light. You know, all that mafia stuff that he's yeah. usually known for yeah. doing? Not in this movie. You're going to see his real acting, his real acting ability. He did a great job with these kids. You're going to love him. Well, listen, why don't we show a clip of the, uh, of the movie? Right. And uh, sure. we'll see what it takes us. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's, let's run a uh, clip. 
Frank. Frank. Oh, I get it. You're not talking to me. Real mature for someone who's about to be a father. You have some nerve talking to me about mature. You cheap, self-centered, gambling lowlife. You don't even have the sense to quit when you're down. You go ruining other people's lives. What kind of a person are you? I'm embarrassed to even say you're my brother. Self-centered? Huh? What kind of person plans to move away without telling his own brother first? Yeah, I screwed up, Frank. But you were about to do the same thing to me, it was just gonna take you a little longer. You know, you're always complaining about the shop. How long before you asked me to sell this place, huh? You're no investor. Why? You think that money you saved was nearly enough to raise a family on? Lewis, it was a start. It was a chance for me to get out of here and do something with my life. You mean to tell me that you have a legitimate reason for doing what you did? Huh? That you have an explanation at all beyond the fact that you ruined mine and Katie's future? I want my half of the money that you took. Don't walk away from me. Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Hey, don't muscle me, Frank. The money's gone. What? You gambled it away already? No, I got robbed on the street, OK? They took it all. You expect me to believe that? I don't care what you believe. The money's gone. Give it up. Yo, man. Nice stuff, right? That was very strong. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate that. Go hey, this, this, this might be something to bigger and better things and bigger horizons for you. Well, I hope so. You know, a movie like this is tremendous for a new actor because it gives me the opportunity to possibly go up to the next level from independent movies to studio films. You know, I really, I don't expect to go into studio films and be the star of the movie, but, you know, it would be nice if yeah. you could get two or three scenes, work your way up again, you know, and get up there, work with some big stars, you know. But right now, the focus is here, not on me, not my career rising. The focus is on getting this movie out there. I need everyone in America to see this film, and I really feel... And I'm sure they will. I think they will, because th I think this is going to be a sleeper. A sleeper is when the movie starts off really slow, and then you know, throughout the years, everyone in the country gets to see it, and even around the world, as time passes. I think this is one of those. Well, listen, Guy, it was a pleasure having you on the show. And, you. and you got a, an open invitation with us, and when you make it big, you still got to come back and see me. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Don't forget, November 18th, the movie's available. The website, just go to Doughboys the Movie, www.doughboysthemovie.com. You could search it on Amazon, and it's a great Christmas gift, guys. You can't go wrong. For the, for the person you don't know what to get, there you go. There you go. All right, everybody. Guy Gaitano.